Right, this is Asset here with a quick review of the Red Dragon Wireless High Performance Gaming Mouse. Um, before we go right into the action, start playing with it, let's just quickly go over what we got here, then we can open it up, check it out, and then we'll go straight to the action. So, right off the bat on the front of the packaging, you can see it provides a 4800 DPI, 8 buttons, infrared engine for its sensors. It goes up to a 15 meter range and it comes with powerful drivers. They are promising high speed, high control, and a high response. On the back, we can see that it provides on the fly adjustment for the DPI with the two main buttons right underneath the third mouse button. The scroll wheel has a high grip, rapid fire button on the side, it has a programmable backlight, and a bunch of other cool features. So let's quickly open this guy up, see what we got inside the box, and then we'll go right to the gaming. So when we open this packaging, the first thing that we get is a little instruction manual. It starts off with a little, dear user, thank you for choosing Red Dragon, followed by a various amounts of instructions and setting up the software, programming the buttons, and frequently asked questions. Um, comes with all different kinds of languages, so it should be easy to set up for almost anybody. It also comes with the driver disc for setting up all the drivers so you can start programming the mouse, adjusting the DPI and everything that you'll probably need in order to get this thing functioning the way you want it to. And lastly, the last peripheral that you get, I guess, um, is these little Teflon pads. The mouse already comes with some installed on it, but in case those wear out, you always have the extras to replace them. And now for the mouse itself. When we take it out of the packaging, one of the first things we notice is that it's actually a matte black finish on it. It's very smooth. And we got this Red Dragon logo over here, which I believe will have um, the LED lighting up in there. We got the two main mouse buttons, these two quick DPI switching buttons, the scroll wheel, which also has a clicking function. Um, got two buttons right here. Or that are probably programmable and then there's this quick fire button right here we see that it's also got these textured triangles on the side um, that provide extra grip and underneath we have the, obviously the sensor here we have a switch over here that says on off or eco and that's probably for the once again for controlling the LEDs and then we got the battery box right here and a quick little storage spot for the actual receiver in case you want to take this mouse anywhere, you don't have you can just unplug it, um, drop it in here, and put it in your backpack or whatever, and just pull it out, plug it in wherever you need to go, which is a really awesome feature. This mouse feels really solid in my hand. It's already feeling nice and comfy for the size, which is actually pretty big compared to my old wireless mouse. This thing is pretty big. So I think that just about covers all the real physical features that we need to look over. Um, and now we're just gonna play around with this um, and see how it performs, how it feels when gaming, and all these other kind of cool stuff, so, yeah. Alright guys, so I actually lied to you a little bit. Before we can go into the gaming and performance of this mouse, there is one function I want to talk about that isn't in the quick start menu, uh, I didn't really see anything about it anywhere, and that's the, actually the sleep function on this mouse. Right now, it is plugged in, I got the drivers all set up, which I'll be going over in a little bit. But as you can see, this mouse doesn't look like it's on, and the LED should light up and everything, but it doesn't. Moving it, nothing happens, nothing happens on my monitor. To actually turn on the mouse out of the sleep mode, you gotta give it a click. See, one click, lights up. Right now, it's functioning perfectly fine. And another little thing I wanna note is, you don't need the drivers installed to actually use this mouse. It works plug and play, but the drivers let you actually program the buttons. Um, other than that, the DPI switching, is already built into these two functions right here stock but the drivers let you customize actually what those can, buttons can do along with all the other six buttons on this mouse so yeah now that we got that covered we can talk about the driver software and check out how this mouse actually performs in action so now that we have the software installed we're going to quickly go over the different options we have while setting it up and programming the different keys the first option we see over here is going to be the mouse double click speed then we're going to have the mouse point speed and the mouse scroll speed. These options are pretty self-explanatory to what they do, and I'm just not going to mess with them and leave them at their defaults. 
Next, we have the Enhanced Pointer Precision option, also known as Mouse Acceleration, I believe. This option I'm going to also leave off as it's something that I'm not going to use. After that, we have the Pulling Rate. It's defaulted to the high power 500Hz mode. Right now, my mouse is working perfectly fine. It's nice and smooth. I have no jittering, so I don't need to lower the power, but depending on your PC's strength, you might have to lower it. L lastly, we have the DPI settings. You can lower it or raise it to whatever your own personal preferences are. I'm going to leave mine at 1600. Another cool thing is by default the mouse is pre-programmed to actually have these two buttons over here adjusted on the fly. I'm going to leave that as it is because I do like to raise it during what, my gaming while lowering it during my browsing. So that's perfect for me. Next we do have the profile options. This is just a way to save different presets of what you want. You can change the keys over here what they do. You can change all this stuff over here and every time you open the settings for your mouse you can always just quickly change the profile you want instead of manually changing and applying every single time which is a really nice thing although you can't change the options on the fly with a click of a button on the mouse which is a little downside to that after that we do have the different options here for programming what the mouse buttons do for now let's just focus on the two side buttons we're gonna, when we click it a little menu pops up of the different things we can do you can do click, right click, middle button, forward, backward, double click, combo keys, or you can do edit functions, multimedia functions, and windows functions, or if you just don't want the button doing anything at all, you can just disable it. Now as you can see, there is no real option to have the button function as like a letter key or a number key, so if I want to have something defaulted to a 1 or a 2 so I can quickly switch between weapons and a shooter game, I can't really do that by default, but by clicking the macro manager, which I do have some setups already here while I was playing with the software, um, it's very simple, you click a new profile, type in the name of it, then you just start recording it, and let's say I just want that to be 4, stop recording, and I say OK, now that fun button functions as the 4 key, pretty straightforward. Um, but it took me a little bit to actually figure out that's how you're supposed to do it. So the functions are basically all there. You can have as many as you want, whatever you want. Nothing is really going to stop you other than your imagination. So I think that just about covers everything we really need to know about the software. And now we can actually record some actual gameplay and see how smooth this mouse is. Um, make sure that all the buttons are working properly and really judge how well this mouse actually performs, make an opinion for you guys and yeah let's get to it so for demonstration purposes i've launched up insurgency for you guys that way we can really talk about this mouse while we see how well it performs and one of the first things i really want to talk about is going to be the comfort of this mouse while i'm using it and i gotta say it's very responsive um very smooth the teflon pads underneath um remove all the friction the fact that the mouse is wireless removes all that cable drag so it's a very free um free access mouse i guess there's nothing really holding you back from using it it's very easy um it has the 500 megahertz response time which is about two millisecond response time which is about half that of my wired one but even then between the two i can't notice a difference there, and there is no weird lag from because of sometimes the wireless mice do have that lag where the computer can't keep up with the with the wireless input um even at the 500 megahertz my at least my pc experiences no weird lagging from from the wireless connection um the other thing that we talked about earlier was the adjustable dpi i feel like this is a must in all gaming mice because you want to always be able to adjust how sensitive your mouse is reacting especially when you're gaming they fit depending on what you're trying to do. Right now you see I got it set on the lowest setting and now it's on the maximum setting and it's going all crazy. Um, depending what you're trying to do you might want to adjust your DPI settings so it's a, I feel like this is a must and Red Dragon definitely puts something that we all need. Um, and then the last thing I really want to talk about with this mouse is going to be the rapid fire feature that we talked about. Um, this feature it does work but not actually how it really sounds. Um, here we go. We shoot the gun a couple times. That's just semi-automatic. If I hold it, nothing happens other than a single shot. But if I press the rapid fire button, we get three shots. 
Um, it's kind of misleading when you think about rapid fire. You would think, oh, I hold the button and it would shoot forever until I'm out of ammo or whatever. But no, it only does three rounds at a time and you have to press it again. So it is, it is what it is. Um, I was hoping for to be able to hold it forever, but I guess I can't. And then actually the real last thing is I didn't actually please forget about this for a second. Um, the macros. We talked about how you, can, you can't natively program numbers into the different mice buttons. So we right now I got set up the two side buttons to be numbers one and two. But if you can hear me clicking in the background, um, nothing's happening. It's not switching. Even though if I press it on my keyboard, it does switch between the two guns. But pressing the buttons, it does not work. I don't know if it's just insurgency not letting it happen or something, but it doesn't work. So I don't really know what to do about it. Maybe it might be just, I don't know. I'll figure it out. If I, if I figure it out, I'll put it in the description or something. But at the time of recording this, um, I really have no idea why it doesn't work. It might be because I put it to the number bar at the, on top of the keyboard instead of the number pad on the side. I, I'm not sure, but if I do end up figuring it out, I'll definitely put that in the description. So yeah, I mean, overall, this is a good mouse. You can't go wrong with it, for the, especially for the price. This mouse completely outperforms everything that you can possibly find in the market. Sure, you can spend $100 on one of those premium mice, but for, I believe it was $20 for this mouse, you're getting almost the same performance at, or just something you won't even know the difference between other than maybe the, the software limitations. The actual performance of this mouse, you're not gonna notice. It performs perfectly fine. Um, the speed, the sensitivity, the smoothness, nothing. Nothing you'll notice, nothing that'll actually be really giving you a disadvantage. So, def it's definitely pick up this mouse. I can't not, there's no way I can't not recommend this mouse. It's a good mouse, end the story, so. I'm definitely going to be keeping this mouse around, especially when I go traveling. It's going to be my go-to wireless mouse from this point forward. There's nothing that I've ever used actually for this price range that actually satisfied me this well. So yeah, thank you guys. Thanks for watching.